It's time for the 23rd annual Mercury CV Pompano Beach Saltwater Showdown, the grand finale of the Pompano Beach Saltwater Circuit. And we're riding along with Captain Art Sap and the notorious team Native Sun. These guys have uh, had great success over the years uh, in the summer series. And uh, I'm quite confident he's been doing his, uh, his homework. The bite's actually been a little slow, so I don't think it's going to take a ton of weight to win this thing. Probably some quality king, so ride along with Cat and Art and let's see what happens. The Native Sun this morning, 2021 Saltwater Showdown. The uh, delayed version due to that tropical storm last week. I don't even remember the name of Fred. That's right, Fred Flintstone. We were going to Wahoo fish down there around Lake Worth Pier this morning to start, but it was overcast last night, full moon, so I'm thinking maybe we'll get a little morning flurry on the Kings. And there was zero wind down there, so I didn't want to sit there and spin. Kites are going up, see what happens. Got just enough to fly them, so hopefully it works out. James, you can probably uh, fish a sardine on that spinning rod and keep it short up here like you normally do. Yeah. And it'll fish just fine. You were all quiet about that. Yes. He was all sneaky, he was right beside me, I didn't even know. I'll make a move of some kind here at some point. We might come up this gunnel here. Nope, nice fish, real nice fish. Yeah, let's get, we need some hands back here. Which way is he going? Shut those motors down, trim them up. We're, we're okay, we're okay, we're okay, we're okay, we're okay, stay put. Make a loop here. He's gonna make a loop and come up here. He's we might get a shot, loop. Art. Yeah, let me on your side. One more tight. Start arming, arming. Excellent job, brother. <laughs> Excellent <laughs> job, dude. Still got it, baby. Get another one. Go. Drop the rod. Get another rod. We'll take care of this. Go get another one. Go. Nice start, boys. Nice That's start. Nice start. Take that. You got the gas there? Going right by you? No, no. Put them in the rod holder so we're not stepping on them here. Unzip a bag. Yep. yep. Just unzip either one. It's this side. Nice. Nice 12 pounder. Yep. Three more of those and we going wahoo fishing, bitches. Uh -huh. Jimmy Steele got it. Steel. <laughs> Name of his new boat. Caught a, a nice 33, 35 pounder or so on his speedo bait. He mans that thing all day long, holds it in his hand. There for a first bite and then you whiffed another one, but we're not gonna talk about that one. <laughs> Only two bites we've had this morning through here. So we made a quick reset and if we don't get bit again, we're gonna make a little move and try something different. Hey, you're in my runner too. What was that on Something there? just boiled yeah. on the mid, the middle along. Yep. What is on? There now. Was that his fish that boiled on it? I don't know, but he's in the middle bait for sure. Sorry, guys. Screwed up back there with steel. Leader. So leave your shit there until we. Hello, pretty girl. Oh my God, that runner's hung on him. From the, that long bait back there is hung on him too. So. Kind of a bad situation to be in right now. Oh, yeah, you're you're hooked. We're gonna catch him again. I can see them porpoises about 500 yards down there, just kind of milling around. Yeah, well, they're just milling around down there in that little break. Summertime sail bites on. Did it. All right, guys, I gotta get that way. Well, I. Hey. 
Oh, he's a pretty fish. Nice one, Jimmy Jim. Got the bait back. We could use him again. <laughs> two king bites, uh, two sail bites, and two porpoises eat our bait so far. How many slow. points for a porpoise? Yeah. How many points for a porpoise? Probably not very many. You might get mad at us. Bring one of them home. Porpoise. Yes, yep. swimming him. He was straight. Fish was straight down. You got a big mutton on there, don't you? Maybe it's kind of fighting that way, but it's all right. We'll reel his ass up and find Good. out. Hey, you got a big mutton on there. It's not a mutton. Uh huh? I don't think it's a mutton. No, Jack. Something like that. Move, move left, Steel. Move left. Let him get by you there. I was looking at a shack. <laughs> Jizak fish. Is he 24 inches? <laughs> Good for the smoker. If he's 24, but I don't think he is. Is it to the fork or for the tip? Fork. Come on, wind. I think he makes it. We're going to measure him. All right. It did seem to fish out that way, didn't it? Not even close. What the hell are we screaming about? Two, Sabi. Makes it by an inch. Doesn't have to go out of the ballpark. It just has to go over the fence, my friend. So this absolute bullshit weatherman tells us we're gonna get 12 knots of wind today, and we're sitting here with zero knots of wind, so we have to slow troll, something I despise, but Jason's making me do it. <laughs> we put the riggers out and the whole bit. I think we're fucking blue marlin fishing. But you get us a couple bites. We need a few small kings, wearable kings that go with these things. We can go wahoo fishing. Gotcha. All right. Yeah. Live jumps. Watch your kite rod. Oh, it's a beautiful, it's a big fish, I missed it. I got him, I got him. Shark was on him all the way back to the boat. Told you our ribbon fish was gonna catch a good one. Shark was on him all the way back to the boat. Nice work, brother. What happened to all the others? We, uh, Jason decided to catch the bottom and we lost one to a shark. Hey, Jigs, we're good, we're fine. Oh, yeah, we're tight. We're gonna get them moving on this fish. Get on the, get on the throttle, Jim, get on the throttle. Jim, steal you throttle and I'll gaff. Doesn't matter, get it out of there, start reeling on everything. James, start yeah, with get this. Get it all out of the way, we're gonna have to move this way. Need help, start reeling on these rods. Don't pick them up, reel on them. Stop, stop. Coming around to the left. Come ahead. It'll stop there for a second. Hard left, cross them up left. Wine. He's right here, Jay. Jimmy. Stop, stop. Right here, Jim. Might get a quick sneak shot on him. Coming around. On the bow here, come ahead! Slow, stop, 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 he turned. Damn, he ain't near as big as it looked. Right here. What the fuck is that? That ain't the one we saw here out. It was not on my bait. I, don't, I mean, it's a wear, but it's not the one we saw air out. That's not the Kraken, I can tell you that. Fuck no, dude. We saw a 50, 60 pounder air out. God. I don't know what it ate then. All right, wind it down. We're resetting. It was a 50, 60 pounder air out. That's not going to work. That got bit. You saw the giant boils and everything, too. How the fuck did that happen? 
And that's how you take care of them. Pulling hard, Jim? Jim? Yeah. Jim? He's gaining on it, though. It's changing direction, and he's gaining on it. Uh, yeah, it's definitely not shark. Keep gaining, keep gaining, keep gaining. Gain. All right, we're at here. the shock. Shark, oh, geez, shark just took a swing at him. One, 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 one. Oh, I hit it. I don't know if he oh, weighs. Reel oh, you wait. Hey, he's close. He weighs. Just, just. All right, reel him in. Let's reset, guys. Make sure that doesn't wind up in the bolster. Is that trouble? So we finally got a puff, barely a puff of wind. We're still sagging a little bit, not fishing great. We got a few bites there. Caught another one real close to 30, maybe not quite. And our junior anger caught one that was gonna make weight. And I somehow caught one that's gonna make weight. So we're at our four kings, but I feel like two of them could upgrade quite a bit. So we're gonna hang here. And I think our time's better spent here doing this than, than running around to go wah wahoo fishing. Shit, we'll catch a wahoo right here once this crowd lightens up a little bit. Hopefully. <laughs> Burning line? Yeah. All right, let's go. And then Rob. He turned back. He's turned back. Here's the shock. Here's the shock. It's a nice fish. Wouldn't hurt. But. Let's loop around. That's what the better ones are gonna do. It's that warm water fight, man. They do that every time. Got no mark, nothing. He's right here. I can't see it all right. Kind of straight up and down, Art, right here. The shock's coming right to the rod tip now. Help him, help him. Help him, help him, help him. Watch it. Nice, brother, nice. Nice work, kid. Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> don't Watch, do, don't, don't get yourself hurt. Yeah, there's trebles all over the place. Nice fish, kid. All right, get him back out. Nice work. Excellent job. Right, Let's work on it. Don't let that thing bite you. How about my junior angler right there? It just puts one in here 38, 39. The rest of the boys think maybe 40, so I'm hoping that they're right and I'm wrong. It's always good when they're right and I'm wrong. But real good fish. That puts us at four, three of them right at, or two right at 30, one upper 30s, and a 14 pounder that I caught. <laughs> Hopefully they take me out. Another big one. Yeah, yeah, of course. Tell the gift, unless it becomes a problem with the kite. Is the kite slipping back there? No, it's fine. Yeah. All right, I could see, I could see color. Deep color. I think he's got it hooked in the belly or something. Yeah, it ain't giant, is it? <clears throat> you know the 40 pounder to eat that thing. That is. Something happened there? What? We just pulled the hook. Okay. Yeah. No problem. I don't think it was an upgraded no, fish. I think it was a 12 pounder, 13 pounder. It was hooked in the throat. Yeah. Uh, we wait on Boca Inlet Bridge here, and unfortunately we didn't get our extra fish, but our boy Jimmy, Jimmy James over here, catch him a nice, nice fish. We hope he makes 40, and uh, I think we got a buck 10, a buck 15. Sounds like we got at least three other boats are in that range, maybe plus a little bit. So. Fine showing for the final tournament of the year. Yep. Move on to sailfish season now.
So they had to work hard for those bites, but congrats to Team Native Sun. They actually had the best kingfish catch of the saltwater showdown. Uh, three kings that were north of 30 pounds and a teenager for I think close to 114 pounds and uh, top three finish in the tournament. Uh, so they won some, some great money. Congratulations to Art and the whole crew. Uh, also got to give a shout out to Team Tax Relief fishing on their 34 foot CV. They were in contention for uh, the highly touted uh, Simrad, Simrad sponsored showdown crown and they won it. First time ever for those guys, uh, which also is the third year in a row for, for CV Boats, winning the most prestigious meat fishing title uh, that exists. So again, congrats to Team Tax Relief. Uh, runners up were Team Digger Rich. Uh, they, they fought hard, had a great uh, tournament, actually tied Team Tax Relief on points. So we had to go to the tiebreaker on what they actually weighed and uh, they came up in second place, finished just short, but they also had the largest kingfish of the tournament at 46.6 pounds and won over $14,000 in prize money. And then of course, last but certainly not least, was our showdown champions, Team Living Water Making Time, who actually were the showdown crown champions from last year. They had another strong finish this year, uh, won the entire tournament, weighed over 124 pounds of fish, caught two nice black fins. Uh, they had uh, master angler title and won over $16,000 in prize money, representing strong for our title sponsor, Mercury, and of course, CB Boats. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll see you for the next one on Fish Blue Water.